Hey guys, what's going on? Today I wanted to make a quick video on how to use the new CLI from Fitbit. It's really awesome and allows you to use any of your desktop tools to build a Fitbit app, which is a lot better than using their web interface. So to start, you'll need to have NPX installed. And to do that, you can just do npm install npx-g for global. Now I've already done this. But NPX allows us to run execu executable binaries uh, from NPM packages, basically. And once you have that installed, if you want to create a new Fitbit app, all you have to say is NPX create Fitbit app and give it a name, my watch face. Once you do that, it'll take care of getting all your dependencies ready for you and it'll give you a few questions to answer to help set up the app, and then you're good to go. All right, now that we have everything installed, let's answer these questions. I'm going to make this a clock face. Uh, the name of the application can be my watch face, that's fine. Should it contain a companion? I'm going to say no. I'm going to target both the Ionic and the Versa. <clears throat> so next we need to go into our my watch face directory where our code is. So you can see we have our app, node modules, all that stuff. And then we just run npx fitbit. Now by doing that, you're going to log into a Fitbit shell per se. First time you do it, it's gonna make you log into your Fitbit account using web browser. As you can see, I'm already logged in here with my user and email. Uh, if you type help, we get a nice list of things you can use. Uh, all we're going to do is we're going to build this application. All right, and once that's finally done building, you can just type install. And that's going to automatically install it to our simulator. Now, this app is just a blank white screen, so it's not very exciting. Now, let's talk about loading an existing app that you've been building on the using the web interface. Uh, so first, let me go in here. Let me uninstall this app. Bring it back to default. Let's exit the Fitbit shell. And let me go into a production app that I already have out on the store. I'm going to open this up in VS Code. So we have all our code here for the app, the companion, the settings, all that stuff is set up here because we already built that. All we want to do is be able to use the CLI to run this locally on our simulator. So outside of this Fitbit object, let's create a dev dependencies. And we need to add two things. We need to add the Fitbit SDK, and that's going to be version 1. And we also need to add the Fitbit SDK CLI. And that's going to be version 1. Now once we're done with that, let's just run either npm install, or if you're like me, I use yarn. And once that's done, we can do just like we did before npx fitbit once we're logged in we can go ahead and build our project the first time you try to build a project that was not originally created with the CLI you'll get this prompt um, that you don't have a build script configured I'm just gonna say yes to use the default As you can see here, it's going to do some linting and tell you you're a terrible developer like me that didn't import things correctly, but that's fine. And once this is done, 
you go into VS Code, you now have a build directory with your FBA file. This is what you would upload to the store to publish your app. So you already have that built for you. And now we just need to install it to our test app or our, our simulator here. As you can see, this one does have a settings companion here. So we can uh, go in here and actually test changing the colors from the settings that you would have on your phone that's paired to your device. And every time I click one of these, uh, a console log is happening behind here on our console, which is a really great way to debug your app. All right, so that's everything you need to know about the new Fitbit CLI. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you get notifications on every new video that I come out with.